Oh yeah, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna work on it and make it a neat neat place to go raid uh, and kill dwarves. So you will, Tom Tom will have his fucking dwarvish revenge <laughs> as he waits patiently. That's a season five thing, sir. Yes, it mm -hmm. will be. So it's at that point when Doc Fulton suddenly uh, has to reduce his hand back down to six. <sighs> You apparently got some cards for the briefing you on what's going on. I hope you took good notes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. He likes to fucking uh, uh, write notes as much as any cop I've ever met. Sure, I have. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Way too much fucking paperwork and policing. And it's gotten even more. Oh, yeah. It's continuing. It's ridiculous amounts. So we got these Santa Claus suits um, at the embassy. Oh, did you find them? They're still yes, there? Yes, they're there. Yes, cool. there's nine suits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure what you want to do for your last hour, Chris Tacos. Holy crap, you tossed out a supporter reroll? That wasn't me. I guess Chris. <laughs> there he goes. All right. Uh, he, he, your job, Tom Tom, will be to try to uh, get Chris to respond to uh, voice commands again. <laughs> he's in the, he's in the, he's gazing again. <clears throat> he likes to be in profile. It makes him happy. No, I, I'm using cards. No, no, I like my story better. Okay. Mm-hmm. So we have these uh, Mrs. Claus suits at the embassy. So if we're going somewhere freezing, we're covered. We just have to go to the embassy and uh, get it. Okay, so let's go to the embassy and then get them. No problem. You guys go to the embassy and the, the elf guys are excited at first to see you. And then they're like, oh, when are we going to see uh, Joshua again? Soon. He's undergone some changes, though. Just letting you know. What do you mean changes? He's become more strict, more free. Um, are they blocked. both together? He's, um, you can get them together as he cut his hair. Well. Dyed his hair. Sit down. They do so. They're like, what? What's wrong? So there's bad news, but then there's good news. Is he hurt? So he's alive. They both look relieved. But he had died. They look unrelieved. <gasps> so he died, but then I was able to bring him back. Oh, because he's a Dora. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, he mentioned this to us. Sometimes when Doras die, they go away for a little bit, and then they come back. Got but it. he's not okay. looking quite the same. Oh, you mean... He's injured. We can we can nurse him back to health. No, like I had to put his life essence into a new body or else he wouldn't have reformed. Could you say that again? I had to put his life essence into a new body or he would not have reformed. You can do that? What kind of doctor are you, says the girl. Well, He's that one hell of a doctor, I can tell you that much. It has to do with those really big <laughs> powers that we are working on and he's going to have some issues because he has lost a lot of things it's going to look different too uh-huh yeah uh 
How much different? Like shorter, taller? I describe what he's gonna look like. Dork? <laughs> yeah. No, you won't. Not him. Obed? Oh god, we know Obed. Yeah, he's now in Obed's body. But he's not Obed, he's himself, but in a different body. They look absolutely fucking stunned. Like, uh, uh, they both endure Sandy loss. <laughs> right, they just sit there and goggle at you for a while. Meanwhile, uh, Tom Tom comes in with two Mrs. Claus suits. Yeah, you might want to wear these. Santa Claus suits will keep us nice and warm wherever we're heading through the cold. I thought Santa was a dude, says uh, the guy looking at the suits. Mrs. Claus. Ah. Well, there's no shame in cross-dressing. I learned that from my new friends in the uh, Kinley Bell. Mm -hmm. Listen, if it keeps you warm, you go with it. I've never been a big fan of the push-up bra myself, but he says. Is what it is. Doc looks like he's contemplating deeper things. Are you ready to go? Let's do this. All right. So I pull out the card and we go to the firewall. Bing! After getting dressed in the sound suits, you're back at the firewall. There's a saloon there still. But we ain't cold. True. You guys are standing there looking at the is, saloon. So is there are we go in the saloon? Is is he there? Yep, yep. Clem's there and he's like Howdy, what can I do you for? No, he's he the other guy there. No. <clears throat> okay, that's fine. So yes. we go over to the wall, and I pull out the gem, and I'm looking to see how the reactions are. At, oh, at the firewall. Yeah. Ah, you guys exit the thing, go over to the firewall, and give me a luck roll without the modifier, Chris. I made it, but nothing special. Okay. You pull out the gem. Uh, the firewall doesn't really respond to it. Although, the well, no. The flames are kind of curling toward it a little bit. I start walking towards it. Okay. You said the flames are curling towards it? Yeah. Toward the gem. Can I get a danger sense roll here? Yeah, okay. Perfect. Okay, I continue going forward. All right, you go into the fire? Yeah. Okay, flames are still not hurting you. Uh, you can't tell anymore if they're curling toward the gem of judgment because, you know, everything's on fire here. So uh, now looking at the gem, how is it reacting to the firewall? Not at all, apparently. You notice that there are broken pieces of pattern here and stuff here and there. Give me a pattern lore roll. What are you doing, Tom Tom? Um I'm you know, just going through cautiously right behind him. And as he goes through, I cautiously go behind him. Excellent. You can also make me the same skill roll if you'd like. A little bit of pattern lore. I guess that's it learned for me still, right? Or, sorry, not pattern lore, shadow lore from both of you. My bad. Shadow lore. Yeah, for you, it's still a learn. Eventually, you're going to make it. It's going to take a <laughs> few more rolls, but by God, we'll get you knowing about this stuff. Doc Fulton, give me a shadow lore roll, please. Damn close, but oh well. Mm. Bail. Doc Fulton has no idea either, so don't feel bad. So I was thinking about stepping outside of this and trying to contact Fiona, and if things start to occur, coming back in. You ready? Let's do it. I step out. I pull out Fiona's card. I try to contact her. Hmm. 
No answer. I try to contact Corwin. Ooh, let me check on something else here. Uh, something else, Corwin. Nobody fucking loves you. That's what it is. Um, I contact. Fuck. Dworkin. Wow. Right. Uh, a kind of big card. <laughs> you don't think it will fucking help at all. A, a hologram appears and it gets bigger and bigger and you can see this old hunched guy. He's kind of like a tall midget and he's got a hunched back and he's in there and he's got all kinds of hair and stuff and god damned if he doesn't look like the old man from scene 24 mm -hmm. and he looks at you and he reaches out a hand. Oh shit. <laughs> I Behind you. I grab onto uh, Tom as I do so. All right. That's, take a card for remembering Tom. You grab his hand. All three of you are now in kind of a twilighty room. There's a uh, skull on the table with a candle on it. There's a stuffed crocodile hanging up for some reason. Books and scrolls and uh, some trump cards of people you don't know. And he looks at you guys and goes, <laughs> yes. He makes his a special roll. <laughs> he says, and then he takes his fumble card. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Fucking dwarfin fumbles. Okay, cool. So he says, yes. It's been too long. Too long. Right. So I do remember you, though it wasn't the same. Nothing is the same, but different. Different. He starts putting his fingers on Doc's face like he's just... Ah. Doc looks super uncomfortable. Like a, a uncle's molesting him type uncomfortable. <clears throat> So, uh, what's this, Doc? This is Dorkin. Dorkin? And Dorkin yeah. is me, he says. So. We have limited time before the change overcomes me and I try to kill you. Come, walk with the, me as we talk. Okay. <laughs> I follow him. <laughs> He's taking you through a series of rooms and stuff with a bunch of various, like, uh, looks like alchemical experiments are going on here. Uh, a, a stuffed bear there, just weird, random stuff. You seem to be in some sort of stone rooms and such. And he says, is it time yet? Time for what? Time to end the world, of course. No, 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 no. Well, oh, shit, he says. He keeps walking with you. <clears throat> Why have um, you come to see me? I, I'm because I am concerned that random is not random, and that Oberon is not really telling him what to do. Part of that statement is true. Okay, <laughs> he says. So it might be random, or no? Hmm. He says and continues shuffling through. <laughs> but even if it is, he thinks that he's serving his father, who's passed already. The Patton Fall War claimed my son. So, I but was you are part of the new breed. Yeah, I was hoping to get any Kids information I could from their toys and their mechanical things and their computers, all the things that they do. Have you met your uncle yet? My uncle? Which one? You have. Oh, no, not your uncle. He's your grandfather. Have you met him? My grandfather? Not I sure. will have to give you his card. He pulls out a pack and digs through it. Yes, hands you a card. Be sure to say hello to him at some point. <laughs> I look at the card. Is it anybody I recognize? Uh, no, but uh, he says, Marilyn, and taps the card. 
Oh, I see. Do okay. you? Good. Your friend doesn't. He doesn't know yet. Not yet. Knowing <clears throat> is not knowing, especially if you do not. If you know but do not do, then you do not know. But to know and do is to know. Well, I was looking for my great-grandfather then because I thought maybe he would have some insight into what's been happening. Oh, that he does, but he is busy with his own. You should go and seek it when you learn how and find his pattern. Mm. Mm. Is he in Avalon? No, he is gone within. You too shall go within, for it is within your blood. But tell not the others, lest they crush you. Yes, she will do it first. Oh, she was a good student, but so much grasping for knowledge. Fiona. <laughs> he says, rolling his eyes around. You know where Fiona is right now. Oh, bad things are going on, but soon she shall have her revenge. <laughs> well, I want to try to help her. You cannot stand against him. He would crush you. What have you brought? Why are you here? Why did you contact me? Because you are the one that knows the most of the trumps, the pattern. You know the most of everything. I know all, which means I know nothing. There are better people to contact on these things. Plus, I can tell that you are worried about me, and well, you should be. The change is overcoming me. This is the door out. Quickly, if you have questions, make them fast before I change and kill you both. <laughs> Where can I start on my path to finding Fiona? She will find you when it is time. She has family matters to deal with first, and they are most unpleasant, but she shall have her revenge, and oh, yes. Where's Batman? He's in the pitcher. What the fuck is wrong with you? He's right there. He wants to... <laughs> and speak not of these petty matters. What other weighty matters do you have, Batman? Batman. Why does, like, who is the ghost of Oberon, truly? Mm. I can see all, which means I can focus on nothing. It is somebody from the past, the dark past, long thought dead, now back for their revenge. Or is it? I do not know. Is there anything else you wish to tell me? What more? How can I hide the Jewel of Judgment? There is a room within the castle, and the blind guard it. Place it within the thing that cannot be seen. Now go, grow. His voice begins changing, and he starts getting a little taller. You okay. notice the door is heavily barred, but from the inside. Um, we open the door, we go out. Mm -hmm. Ah, it's barred from the outside as well. My God. I bar it. All right. You hear a strange shuffling as something retreats back the way you came from. The door then fades away. That's odd. We're going to a castle? You're in a castle, actually. Looking around, you seem to be in uh, some sort of library in a castle. It is uh, very, very real and solid looking. I look for that secret. I, like, I make sure I know that where that door is in case I ever need it again. There is no door. You were just imagining things, apparently. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now I remember where this door is here in the library. Okay. I keep telling you there's no door, but nobody will believe me. Um, now, who are the... There's, like, in the castle, there's... I've not heard of this, so... Perfect. So you're on the same footing as Tom Tom, who's looking like he's Action Man. Going forward without a plan, it's Action Man. Action Man. Action Man. All right, man, let's do this. <laughs> right, see, I don't know where in here there's a box, this box that he speaks of. Hmm? Start looking around. 
There's all kinds of boxes and wooden boxes. We're, and boxes and blind. Blind. We're, guard, we're blind guards are. Maybe it's a picture, blind guards. We're looking. Anything that has pictures of guards or anything? No, no pictures of guards. Statues. There are some statues, yeah. yeah. Is there a that mimic what the guy said? Ah, who knows what he's babbling about. He's just some crazy old dude. Is there a box anywhere nearby? Several. I want to look for, like, in the middle of where, like, these statues are. Is there a box that can't be mm. seen or anything? No. No, they're very obvious. <clears throat> it appears he's giving you one of those crazy riddles that won't make any sense until it's too late. Maybe it's outside this room. He's gone into one of the library. We're in the library, so I figure maybe we can look up. We could like is there any lore of the castle amber in here or sure. Uh go ahead and give me library research. They don't know what the Dewey Decimal system here is in this section. In this section they do, but apparently somebody gave up after a couple hours and in this section. Uh, it reminds you of your old library. How you miss I it. Have. Perfect. Tom, Tom, are you also rolling with library yeah. research? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Wow. <laughs> Excellent. You guys go point at the book, look at each other, nod like, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, there's a book on the uh, castle and its history and all that kind of stuff. Sure. It was apparently drawn out of the firmament by some crazy old bastard named Dworkin long ago after he Fuck the unicorn and uh, had a kid and spawned a whole empire, etc. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't like, is there anything in there that says anything about a hidden uh, box? Uh, well, not a hidden box, but like a, a, a room where blind, where, where guards blind or blind guards stand. Yeah. No, there there is something called the hallway of mirrors, but you're suspecting that just could be some sort of thing to throw you off the scent. It, uh, not everybody finds it, and everybody seems well shaken up after they traverse it. Sounds like one of those things that's best to avoid. Uh, there's a lot of different rooms and such. Generally, uh, different people get their own rooms and things like that um, in the castle. Yeah. Well, I'd want to go there then to this, because if people avoid it, that might be exactly what uh it's unfortunately it's not in any one location it's like a roving encounter type thing apparently it's been found by different people in different places and stuff and the mirrors show you various horrifying images from time to time if you can find it generally people find it more by chance rather than design mm. yes Give me a critical luck roll there, Chris, to suddenly have all of your shit answered by random chance in the way of heroes. I just wanted to... God damn close. Um, <laughs> right. Uh, let's see. With that good luck roll... Right. Gerard wanders in. He doesn't notice you guys yet. He goes over, pours himself a drink. I pull out a card of uh, the firewall. Mm -hmm. I grab Tom Tom's hand. I put it on Good. my shoulder. <laughs> I wait for it. Now, does he just take a drink and then kind of hang out for a second? No, he, he gets he gets a glass. He goes over. He looks around on the shelf. He goes, oh, yep. pulls off What's a book. Here? What's the book? Uh Give me a amazing spot roll. He's well away from you. He has not noticed you yet for some fucking reason Logan can't figure out. By 30? Uh, the Wind in the Willows. Hmm, okay. Gerard. Hmm. 
it's a new hey he looks at you at last i thought he's gonna look at the goddamn book go are you talking to me all right he looks at you and goes oh do you know where fiona is his face darkens no he says he looks unhappy she as far as i know she's in danger and i'm not yeah. sure everything is as it is what i don't think that random spoke with oberon i think it's someone posing as oberon to get random to do things do you have any proof no huh what do you want from me the, why don't we just go on a whim man dworkin and dworkin said that it may be you saw dworkin yeah, someone from the past he looks impressed. that is out for revenge. He gestures widely with his drink. Sounds like a normal day around here. Right, but it's trying to get Random to do things for him as part of that. So it's playing the game, but it's definitely trying to win. I'm pretty sure that Random won't do anything for him after what he did last time got him locked up. And also, I came upon him way too easily, so I don't even know if that's truly him or not. He sets down the book and drink and walks toward you. You can put that away, he says, motioning toward the trump card. I just don't know who to trust. He stops. That's fair. Come on, I'll pour you a drink. I walk over by him. On guard, though. Yeah, You're thinking right it won't help. If he gets his hands on you, he can snap you like a fucking toothpick. I know, but I'm quick. True. Um, he does a lot of big, obvious hand gestures as he pours the drink and stuff to let you know he's not poisoning you and shit. Uh, what do you drink? He says to Tom Tom. Whatever you have. He pours in one, too. This is 200-year-old whiskey. It should be fairly smooth, he says. Passes out glasses. He got a glass of the same thing. He says, do you want to switch glasses or not? To Fulton. That's, no, I'll, I'll take the drink. Okay. He goes and sits down in one of the chairs. There are several chairs close by. I have a, I a chair. What's this guy's name? He, he says, oh, hi, I'm Gerard. Oh, I'm Tom Tom. Hi, Tom Tom. Nice to meet you. Good. Um, yeah, you're kids of somebody. I'll respect your privacy. I know. Are you related to Doc Fulton? No. Oh. Different parents? Acquaintances. He goes, ah, all right. <laughs> he looks a bit confused and sips on his whiskey. Do either of you drink your whiskey? Yes. Yes. It's like golden fucking sunlight going down your throat. It is distilled happiness in a fucking bottle. So good. So good. So this is what the rich people drink. Caroline. <laughs> Oh, good times never wow. seem so good. Join us, Gerard. <laughs> uh, I, I thought he was in quite a pickle. Uh, I can He's trying to be you. very optimistic. That's kind of one of the things he does. Ah. Yes. Well, so I'm sure that you can help us out. I'm almost, I, I'm, matter of fact, I'm positive. First time I met you, but just looking at you. I'm almost positive that you can help me and Doc out in this. He's got a curtain beard. He's kind of a little bit of a shorter individual, powerfully built. This guy just exudes raw strength to you. Mm -hmm. He goes, um, I'll do what I can, but honestly, I don't even try to keep up with the machinations of the family anymore. They are just 
It's like a serpent eating its tail. <laughs> Very true. Mm. Um, and I know that we've had some, I've had some now problems with the Courts of Chaos. Um, and and Pat, Blaze and his girlfriend, who aren't being very nice to me either, but uh, girlfriend, daughter, he gestures with his whiskey awkwardly. Yeah. Um, ever since Oberon left, right? So that's the whole right. thing is I don't know, like, I fixed my immediate problems back home, but in doing so, I have kind of put myself into a new pickle. Having I don't know what that means. Random, I don't know if it's safe to give him what he's looking for. What is he looking for? What is the one thing he does not have? I don't know. Okay. Uh, a band? I, I what? A band? I, I, I back away a little bit. I put my hand on his shoulder. I pull out the the trump. I go, the jewel. Are you saying you have the jewel? He says, trying it. You can tell he's wanting to leap up off the couch right now. I get ready. The glass shatters in his hand. You're thinking, by the way, it's two minutes to fucking use this trump. Oh, is it? Oh, fuck yeah. me. Oh, oh yeah. That, well, fuck. Well, yeah. I said it now. Yeah, they're not fucking instant. No, that's much higher level. Yeah, you're, you're a novice. You can barely use this goddamn thing. Well, I said it. So I said it. He, he sits very still and he says, do you have the gem of judgment? No, I don't. Not on me. That would be foolish. Right. <clears throat> what is your acting? You're going opposed empathy. Fortunately, he is not the greatest uh, guy here on this sort of stuff. So what's your acting? Good luck. I'll tell you what you need to roll in a second here. Hold on. I'm supporting my acting. <laughs> cool. What is your acting plus five? Uh, 91. God damn. Okay. Roll a uh, 70 or less. Got it. Well, he says, all right, if you get it, it would be very good to have it returned here because if chaos gets it, they'll give it back to the serpent. This will cause the universe to end. That would be bad. Right. I understand that. But good. what? However, what if random is working for them and not knowing? Are you saying he's possessed? If he's listening to Oberon, or if it's even random, because I pulled him out way too easily from where he was. You have a good point. All right. Well, there is one way to find out. Oh. If it is really him. Let's do it. All right. He stands up. Follow me. I follow him. Right along. He goes marching over to, uh, uh, he talks to some guards, find out where Random is, and he takes you guys into the kitchen where Random is making himself a sandwich. And he goes, hello, Random. Random looks at him and goes, Gerard. And he looks shocked and he goes, Dr. Fulton. And he goes, and you. <laughs> Tom Tom. Hi, Tom Tom. He sticks out his hand. He's a short dude. He's got the look of a scoundrel about him. He's about Tom Cruise height. He sticks out his hand. Still got the knife in the other with mayonnaise on it. I just nod. Yeah. He shrugs. Goes back to making a sandwich. 
And Gerard says, we need you to come with us. You may not be you. He puts his hand on Random's shoulder and goes, oh, I'm not me. When did I stop being me? He says, you might be somebody else. We have to go check. I want to make my sandwich. He says, what's this all about? Fulton? He looks at you. Well, I think that I, we're not sure if you are you. I rescued you, quote unquote, rather easily. Uh, I had thought the same myself, but I'm more worried about are you you? Yes, I'm more me than I have ever been before. They both look at you. All right, so... Wait, do they, like, how do they look at me? <laughs> <laughs> like, hmm, right. contemplatively. Right, so can I use Trump defense to try to defend against them analyzing me too much? Because I have the gem on me, and they might notice it. Uh, Trump defense won't help the most powerful thing in the universe that drew out uh, order from chaos will probably not be hidden by anything so uh, Trump, which is a little bit, it's the cousin of it, but it is, I'd say, much less powerful than raw primal pattern drawing gem of the eye of chaos. Different power levels there. You probably got the most powerful artifact in the entire universe in your fucking pocket. You're thinking it's probably really good if they don't notice it. But you know that random's going to. <sighs> so says random can we uh, fuck it okay. he just goes back to making a sandwich he's making no, it he's, like, how can we let's uh, uh, gerard you know a way to make sure then oh yeah sure. there's one way to make sure it's him but we have to convince him uh, to do it because i don't want to force him to walk the pattern gerard spills uh something or sorry gerard uh random spills something he goes pardon i don't want to walk the pattern that is remarkably dangerous and yards like it's the only way to be sure that it's you i don't care if he thinks it's me or not i like him but he is a relative newcomer and at this point gerard says he knows where the jewel of judgment is and he goes ah. and he looks at you empathy rolls got it by 30. Tom Tom? Got it. Well done. He's giving uh, uh, Fulton the you motherfucker look. He's looking like he may attack Fulton with a butter knife covered with mayonnaise. <clears throat> Relax, dude. He looks shocked like... <laughs> Pardon? Who are Relax. I? Gerard says, this is or may be the king of Amber. <laughs> At this point, Random rather spoils his royalty by slowly picking up the sandwich, setting down the butter knife, and taking a bite. He chews it while staring at Tom Tom. <laughs> is that good? You want one? He says. Well, when we figure out who you are. How do we know that you actually have the jewel of judgment, says random around that mouth of sandwich? Are you talking to me or are you talking to him? I mean, I'm new, like you said, I'm new here. You would know, like, I, I can't hide those kind of things. Like, I, I have the gem hidden away in a very secure location. Now... Give me a, uh, uh, his his empathy is much better, so go ahead and give me a uh, talent to support your acting. Mm -hmm. 
Right. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, roll less than 40. Okay, hold on. So it's just, okay, because we're doing opposed rolls, right? Okay, less than 40. Boom. God damn it, says Random. Chews a sandwich for a while. Just staring at Fulton like, you motherfucker. Kind of like Fulton just said, I'm going to force you to run a double marathon as soon as you get done with your sandwich. He sets down his sandwich. He goes, so let me get this straight. I walk the pattern. I get the jewel of judgment back. Let's do it. Is that a yes? I didn't hear a yes, he says. Let me hear that yes. Sure. Yes. All right. If you don't have it, you can't break your spine. Then, after you give it to me, after you find out it's me, we're going to have a talk. All right. Okay. Cut two. You guys go underneath the castle down a lot of fucking stairs, and there's one that Gerard claims is loose. You didn't feel it, but he claims it's a loose step. And he's even got a note on it that says, this one, fix it now. He bitches about the step the entire rest of the way down. You guys get to a big-ass room. It's about the size of the one that Doc recently drew a pattern in. And this one's got a pattern also. Holy shit, it's big and it's kind of like uh, white and it's just scary as shit. Oh. So this is yet different than the other one. What do you mean than the other wait, one? Wait, this pattern is the one you I've done, right? Yeah, oh, okay. you, you've done this. Okay. But for him, it's new. I was describing it through Tom Tom's eyes. Right. Let's see if Random fumbles and fucking dies. Cut to, he makes it all the way through with Gerard standing uh, next to uh, you guys watching. He gets to the center. He flips you off and then appears next to you and says, all right. Gerard's like, I'm convinced it's him. And if he had any kind of spell control on him, it's gone now. And you are definitely working for the good of everything, correct? Yes. I have been since I have been elected king by the unicorn herself. I feel my empathy. Oh, okay. I pull it out. I toss it to him. Are you fucking kidding me? He says. Relax, man. Relax. It's Who all good. You? He says to Tom Tom. I'm Tom Tom, Borgen man. Listen, it's we're, we're here for good reasons. And, you know, we want to make sure it's you. It's you. So nothing bad's happening here. Here it is. Let's 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 do the let's do what's good here. Give me a fast talk roll. He's really wanting to just punch you into the pattern so you die. <laughs> I made it by, by quarter. It looks like he wants to grab Doc Fulton's ear and march him upstairs. Instead, you guys go back up. He <laughs> replays the sandwich. He's drenched in sweat and stuff. And he says, excuse me a moment. He heads off with his sandwich. Gerard's like, we'll meet you in the library. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And... Gerard then takes you to the library. God knows where Random's going now. Doc Fulton looks like he slipped into a coma again, Tom Tom. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm just waiting. taking notes. I'm, like, I'm totally just waiting for it at this point to see what the fuck's going to happen next. Mm -hmm. Like a little worm on a big fucking hook. Mm -hmm. Eventually, Random comes back. He sits down. He's got a sandwich and a beer. And uh, you guys have drinks. And he says, Spill. Where's my sandwich? He says, See that uh, dangly thing there? It's attached to the bells. Go ring that. So you want to know where I found it, is what you're saying. Eventually, a servant comes in in livery and random goes, Get this idiot a sandwich. Yeah. Tom Tom. Get this Tom Tom a sandwich. So, 
Like, there's it's just us, right? Like, I don't ask him this. I look around, though. It's you, Tom, Tom, Gerard, Random, um, and the servant will be back with a sandwich soon. Okay. So inside my, po- I found it inside my pocket dimension, inside the mechanism that kind of keeps everything working, inside Ghost Wheel. The pocket dimension is Ghost Wheel. Yeah. Well. That's interesting because we'd known that somebody had stolen this, but we didn't know it was Ghost Wheel. They got hold of it with Logris tentacles, and somehow they weren't burned away. It's probably because someone they burned from them. behind. I see. He glares at you. And then when we went to go destroy Ghost Wheel... Um, the idiot that was healing the other idiot put it in. So you initially stole the gem of judgment. In a different life, yeah. I guess I did. And why? Well, we were going to destroy Ghost Wheel. I see. And now you live in Ghost Wheel. Yeah, I, I come. I come from Ghost Wheel. Yeah, I don't know it. It it's not what I don't know what it is anymore. It's on the other side of the firewall. Um, that's where the gem was. I my the dimension was starting to to rip apart. So I etched a new pattern into it, and then he drops his sandwich in his lap. You? And then... Um, he gets a sandwich. God damn it. After I brought Joshua McKay back, because his essence was in the ge- the jewel, and I put him into a new body, and um, you... Gerard's I, just staring at you guys like... Talked to Dworkin like 10 minutes ago, and he said there's strange things afoot at the Circle K. Um, trying to find out... Okay, says Dworkin. Wheel. And where he appeared to. I don't know if I should kill you or hug you or. Hug would be nice. He stares at Tom Tom like he's really thinking about that death part. Nah, because it's a good thing, man. We're doing good here. You've made another pattern? Do you realize what you've done? <clears throat> you may have thrown off the entire cosmic balance. You realize what this means? No, no, not sure. We may have to get a new additional Logris. And at that point, the credits for the thing begin scrolling up, leaving it on that cliffhanger. What's a Logris? <laughs> uh, you need to have balance. So you need to have yeah. chaos to match the... Yes. Uh, no, but uh, the, the credits stop. Uh, he said, look, uh, I'm going to have to think about all of these things. I feel like I should be punishing the shit out of you, but I'm not sure for what or since you stole the gem probably, but you did bring it back. So we'd have to mediate the punishment and I'd have to make the punishment fit the crime somehow. I think at some point we will have to have you Find out how to make a new Logris. Can such a thing even be done? Hmm. Unfortunately, uh, you are a very junior in the blood. You'll have to learn how to be able to survive there. After you can survive there, you will need to go there. After you go there, you will need to talk to people and learn how such a thing can be done. Okay. That will be your punishment. 
uh, find out how to draw a new logris. Become strong enough to live uh, while you are there, and then find out how to make a new one. Okay. Good. And report it all back to me. And if you ever steal this again, I'll have to have your legs broken. Okay. And worse. <laughs> okay. He gestures imperiously with his sandwich. Your the servant comes in with your sandwich. Oh, thank you. <laughs> the servant looks totally baffled. Like, why are you eating in the presence of the king, you commoner? And uh, right, he gives you the whole plate thing with the sandwich on it. I don't know what the fuck to say, says Random. You're just causing, you know, I, I'm worried you're helping me to create a new ulcer. We're immortal. Do you know how painful an immortal ulcer could be? Mm. So. so you're able to go in and out through the firewall because the firewall is ghost wheel? Yeah. You're certain that it is ghost wheel? Pretty certain. I mean, I did, like, step through a gate inside of my dimension and said, take me to Ghostville, and that's where I appeared. So, I mean, I'm pretty, you know, so, yeah, it's Ghostville. Well, yes, but gates gates can lie. Sure. Magic lies. But I've been in there before, and I re recognize it all. I recognize where I hit the mechanism where the gem was placed originally years ago. Very well. I don't want to look at you for a while. Okay. Maybe a long while. Gerard says, I'm always available to be in contact. Okay. Random goes. Go. I get up. <laughs> Thank you for the sandwich. Certainly, says Random. We leave. No problem. You head out to a different room to go use your trump, or yeah, to the firewall. And Random is so angry that he's actually speechless, mm -hmm. but yet relieved, and so he's feeling very conflicted and crushy right now. And given they probably have superhero strength, you <clears throat> decide leaving is a good idea, mm -hmm. and. Best of all, Tom Tom, you got a really fucking good sandwich out of it. So good. Yes. It's an MLT, and the mutton is just so tender, a little bit crunchy on the sides. Lovely. Mm -hmm. No problem. I, which card are you using to get out? Well, you can't go right into, like, we can't go to the PC house, so we have to go to the firewall on this good side. Answer. Walk through. And then we can trump to the PC house. Oh, thank God you made those fucking cards, you think? Otherwise, you'd be like, you'd walk into that room, and then you walk back across and, wrong door! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No problem. You get to the firewall. Uh, yeah, and keep in mind, that all this happened while you're wearing your Mrs. Claus suits. Nobody said anything about that. Very polite. But he takes you back in through the firewall and such. And give me a luck roll, no modifiers. Both? Sure. I got 30. No. Okay. No problem. You guys head back in through the firewall, and there's a saloon. God damn, that's a convenient saloon, you're thinking. Mm -hmm. Still there. The door that goes into the back room, not there. Okay. As you suspected. Or wait, no, is it? It is. It is. Sorry. The back door, huh? Take a card, Chris. Yes. Although it is kind of concealed and such, of course. Mm -hmm. Because, yes, it's a back door. Oh, Freddy will fucking pull off his head in rage when he hears that. Good stuff. Good stuff. He's still freaked out about the firewall thing. Anyway. 
and back to the <clears throat> house where um you know we shed ourselves for a while and you know <laughs> contemplate what happens next <laughs> Well, you've got a huge mission coming up that in order to uh, like get the PCs geared up enough for that, fortunately, these guys are mortal, so they've got a little bit of time. Unfortunately, the universe doesn't wait forever, but all you got to do is get your entire group up to where they're able to shapeshift to the point where they won't die if they go to the courts of chaos. Oh, you know, that, that's no problem since I can do that already, too. Uh, actually, you could put them on the faster track to that by teaching them shape-shifting because mm -hmm. you are an expert teacher and oh, you have a lot of shape-shifting skill. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yay. So, uh, right. Uh, this is a prestige mod since you guys did a lot of big shit. <laughs> so, um, discard anything you don't want. Refill your hand. You're going to get two end-of-mission refills from this. Uh, one is for uh, the uh, the reason for the extra end of mission refill for Chris is for doing a lot of big shit for uh, John for sitting through a lot of I don't know what the fuck is going on with all this big shit but you know we're doing a lot of sitting and thinking and so putting up with that bullshit the sitting and thinking so discard any cards that aren't going to help you for end of mission there John yeah doing that now. How was that for a fucking uh, uh, end of mission uh, arc there, Chris? Yeah, yeah, no. That was that was a twenty year mission, bitch. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't yeah. don't do your scallops yet because shit's a happening. You got oh. card play to do. All right. So, do you have any victories? Looking, I got well, fish roll. Two end of mission refills. Speed reading. Uh, play immediately. The players are hindered somehow up to the GM hail. Yeah, we oh. got a new fucking mission. I was hindered, all right. First yes. aid. D6 damage. And a reroll. Uh, real quick before I end the recording, does anybody have any ideas for a title for the uh, uh, session? To be or not to be. Since we did a lot of pondering. Hard, yeah, that could be. Chris is thinking again. I like that. <laughs> now so he can't, he's come up with some doozies in the past. I'm curious if he'll come up with something cool. Lunch with the king. <laughs> mm -hmm. So should I get all these cook get rid of these cards and redo another one? You said the family jewels. <sighs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've got our title. Take card. 